Norman Burlog, among the agricultural scientific community, is known as the man who saved a billion lives. He dedicated his life to helping solve the world's hunger crisis. With his research in wheat varieties that have had a profound impact on many underdeveloped countries throughout the world, it is quite surprising that his name is not a household one, especially in developed countries. During his lifetime, Verlog's research and efforts in solving the hunger crisis have won him the need to be rescued from relative obscurity to the general world public. Norman Burlog was born in the small farming village of Cresco, Iowa in 1914. This is where Burlog's love of agriculture began, working in the fields as a boy. Going off to college, Burlog traveled one state north to attend the University of Minnesota, where he would stay until graduating with a PhD in plant pathology in 1942. Burlog, then 28, had a hungry mind and an ambitious liveliness about him. Two years later, Burlog would be offered the job that would lead him to making one of the most profound impacts on the world in modern history. Burlog was offered a job in Mexico in 1944 that gave him an opportunity to alleviate the food production problem in Mexico. Burlog found that the farmers of Mexico could hardly produce enough wheat to sustain themselves, much less produce enough for surplus. I am not one to sit idly by and see man breed himself into a corner by increasing his numbers faster than food production is being increased. And if I have anything to contribute to this world, when I know that our scientific facts are right and we have materials that can be brought together in a meaningful production program, I'm going to play that card and play it hard. He saw ways that wheat could be genetically crossbred with other wheat varieties to create a new wheat plant that would allow for better yields per land area ultimately helping Mexico become more self-sufficient in food production. Borlaug's research in wheat variety placed emphasis in three areas of improvement, disease resistance, high yield, and semi-dwarfism. Varieties of wheat that were res resistant to many diseases allowed for greater food supply. Before Borlaug's research, a majority of yields in Mexico were lost to a fungus that destroyed wheat plants, leaving insufficient amounts of wheat plants that could be used for consumption. High yielding varieties of wheat allowed for an overall greater availability of food supply. Dwarfism in wheat refers to the thickness of the stalk. A dwarf stem that is thicker allows for plants to grow taller without collapsing under its own weight. He later integrated his wheat improvement techniques from Mexico into other hunger stricken parts of the world. So after 13 years of struggle, Mexico became self-sufficient in wheat production. The mid-1940s were a tumultuous time in history. World War II was just beginning and the last thing on the minds of those in developed countries was the reigning hunger problem present in less developed parts of the world. The cause of the problem is due to the Malthusian theory. Malthus proposed that there would come a point where population would outweigh food supply and hunger would relentlessly take over the lives of the innocent. In places like India, Pakistan, and Africa, Malthusian theory was undeniably present by the mid-1900s. These countries didn't want to become dependent upon more developed countries for their food supply, especially in a time of war. Every day, as I drive to our experimental station in Toluca Valley, where we are making really great progress in solving the world's food problems, I drive past this place. This is the chemical factory that produces the raw materials for the pill. You see. There are two sides to this complex human problem, the one of food production and the one of population growth. This is where Burlog's new wheat, with its ease of growth and high yielding capability, became essential. This new wheat allowed the food supply to again be able to accommodate the population. Because of this, throughout the world, especially in underdeveloped countries where Burlog's wheat was put into play, his name is very well known to the general public. In the general education from a place like China, people are taught about Norman Burlog's successes from a young age. In developed countries such as the U.S., however, Burlog's name is rarely mentioned, which is a bit disrespectful since Burlog significantly impacted and saved the lives of millions. It is a shame that Burlog's work is not globally recognized, and that is what should be changed. A huge contribution to the world like this should be celebrated and well documented, which is why Burlog's work should be known to many more around the world. Borlaug's work especially had a lasting impact in developing countries with an inadequate food supply. In this way, Borlaug became known as the man who saved a billion lives by establishing a steady supply of wheat in areas of India, Pakistan, Africa, and Mexico. Furthermore, Borlaug's strives did not stop with his own work with wheat. He also inspired others. 
mainly MS Swaminathan, to make similar hunger-reducing achievements. In fact, Swaminathan worked very closely with Borlaug, and he continued work on ending hunger through producing varieties of high-yielding rice. Thus, although Borlaug died in 2009, his strives in the field of agronomy certainly did not die with him. All of his successful achievements, Norman Borlaug is not known as well as he should be throughout the world. His accomplishments compare and even exceed some of the accomplishments of other people who are much more well known by the general population. Borlaug is one of seven people to have won the Nobel Peace Prize, Presidential Medal of Freedom, and Congressional Gold Medal. Among these seven are Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, and Mother Teresa, all of whom are well known to the majority of the hoi polloi. But Burlog arguably did more for the world than any of these people. Burlog impacted a billion people by making sure they had one of the necessary human rights, food. Because of all of his outstanding accomplishments, Norman Burlog should be just as well known as other famous Nobel laureates.